We're now going to look at conversion graphs. Conversion graphs are used to convert one measurement into another measurement. In this particular case, we're going to be using a conversion graph to convert miles into kilometers. Uh, other types of conversion graphs sometimes include currency, so for instance, pounds into dollars or pounds into euros. Uh, let's have a look at an example. Convert five miles into kilometers. And they've given you a conversion graph to use for that. Okay, if you notice, miles is along the x-axis and kilometers is along the y-axis. And we're going to convert 5 miles into kilometers. So the first thing I would do is I would first of all identify where 5 miles is. So 5 miles is here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this line to convert into kilometers. So what you do is you get your ruler and you put it where 5 miles is, here. And you're going to go up to the line and then you're going to go across And then that would tell you your answer. So you can see here, going up from 5 miles to kilometers would be 8 kilometers. So 5 miles equals 8 kilometers. And that's what the question is asked you to do. It's asked you to work out how many kilometers 5 miles is, and the answer would be 8 kilometers. Okay, we're now going to look at another example. This time it says convert 16 kilometers into miles. Um, so again, what you do is you look at the axes, uh, the x-axis is miles and the y-axis represents kilometers and th this time we're looking for 16 kilometers. So you go to your graph and you identify where 16 kilometers would be. So 16 kilometers on the vertical axis is here. So then what you're going to do is again you're going to get your ruler and you're going to draw a cross. It's at the line. And then... down from the line and you would find, now you make sure that's nice and straight and accurate and you would find that the answer would be 10 miles so 16 kilometers equals 10 miles